Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I'm looking for a spot where I can cross this river here and then I'll be looking for a good spot to build my wiki up. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some cool otter tracks. You can see where they slided with their belly. And they go from one one little water hole to another. We're mid-November, so there's probably one or two inches of ice on this river and a bit of snow to hide it. Really dangerous. I can't cross that. So I can't cross the river. This There might be this spot, but I don't know how thick it is. Like I said, I don't want to take any risks. So, this little point here, this little thick bush right there, which seems to be a good shelter from the wind and for it's not too mature, so not too many widow makers, I'm gonna go check it out, start building this shelter. So there's a little opening here that I found within this, this nice and uh, dense forest. So I'm gonna start building my wiki up right here where there's a natural shelter. I'm going to be using my axe. One. Two. Three. It's been a long time since I've built one of these, so I cut these about about 12, 13 feet long. I'm gonna tie them up and see what kind of height I get. So I got the ends together. I'm gonna tie this up about two, three, yeah, about two, three feet so I have some more space at the top. Use some paracord. I could have used some root or something, but it's starting to be kind of frozen in the ground or any kind of natural natural cordage, but I'm just gonna tie this down about here. Like I said earlier, I had to count how long they were. I'm going for about 12, 13 feet. I measured these just by taking some steps. So these three beams are going to be really the main frame for the wiki up so I need them to be pretty tough and solid. Just kind of winging it on the knot. Just going to do a couple twists and turns and should be good when I pull them up they're going to tighten on themselves anyways. So. Then I'm going to do a little fire, eat some lunch. So I've been working on my wiki up for about an hour, two hours. Not done yet. This will be kind of like day one building because it's a long term shelter. So I'm going to build it and uh, work on it for a certain period of days. And uh, it'll make kind of like a little series. All right, guys, I'm going to show you a neat trick to do a one match fire with only uh, wood, no bark, no paper, or anything else. So in a forest like this, you can find these spruce trees that have the, that are dead standing and have these tiny little branches. So you want to pick a good bundle, and you want about match size or smaller. So I'm gathering them all 
in the same kind of way so all the bigger ones all the bigger ends on one side and all the smaller ends on another side so to do this it's kind of cool because you don't need a knife or anything you can just kind of use your hands slowly gather a good bunch this should be about good but I just don't want to fail because I really have only one match and for demo reasons too alright I built a little uh, platform here I got my stage 2 tinder and my little stage 1 that I just gathered it's over there so I'll show you guys here I did the same thing with my stage 2 I got them all the big ends at one end and all the smaller ends at the other end. So when you break them in half, kind of like this, then you can put them back together and you get all the small ends bigs over there. And then you get all the small ends on one end. And then you can put them one over the other. Then you get small, bigger, and then even bigger. So process this right like this smaller stuff all right let's try to film on this platform so this is all the smaller stuff I gathered earlier and do the same thing with this. So all the smaller sides are going to be underneath. And you can kind of just try to break it like this. And then I'm going to light my match and then try to put it right underneath here. And this should normally, if it's not too wet, catch carry my match and my my uh, knife sheath I told you I only got one this is a challenge here so make sure I get a good angle Alrighty, here goes nothing. Kydex sheet. I don't know if you guys saw anything, but anyways, it worked. So. Alright, I'm gonna get some coals and get this T bone steak started. Nice little branches really burn good. So my main frame is pretty much done now. I'm gonna show you guys my progression. This will be kind of like the entrance, entrance fire area. I'm probably gonna have to build the fire a bit farther. But I had the great idea to twist some withies. So these are just a few willow branches that I twisted underneath. So it makes them kind of like a cage. I don't know if you guys 
can see it but so now I can just throw like these these big rotten logs or dry logs and they don't need to be strong and with this little cage set up I don't have to worry about them falling on me or anything they're gonna be nice and solid So, caveman steak, need a good bed of coals, put it right in there, takes about five minutes on one side, depending on how your coals are, and then another five minutes, maybe less on the other side. This one looks kind of thick, nice and fat, um, should take, I'll leave it five minutes, it's only three 3.20 in the afternoon, so, hmm, yeah, it'll be dark here around 4 o'clock. Throw some spices on there, Montreal steak, perfect. Throw a bit of spices on that side too. Perfect. Huh. This should be done, been on here about 10 minutes, 5 minutes on each side, put on my little bush plate, I'll take a look at what this looks like. Alright guys, I'll eat my lunch and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, I'll put out this fire and I'm out of here. Alright guys.